Hey everyone, today I'm going to explain the hydroxyl functional group and what it means. So in chemistry, functional groups are little molecular additions such as OH, for example, the hydroxyl group, that can be added onto a carbon backbone giving properties to that molecule. Okay, hydroxyl group is simply an oxygen and a hydrogen um, attached to your carbon backbone. This oxygen and this hydrogen are forming a covalent bond between them, right? And uh, one thing you need to realize about the hydroxyl group is that it's, a, it's considered a polar functional group. What does that mean? It means it has a partial charge somewhere. And here's why it develops a partial charge. If you remember, oxygen has a greater electronegativity than hydrogen. What that means, remember, electronegativity means affinity for electrons, greediness for electrons. You can think of it that way, right? So oxygen is greedier for electrons. Hydrogen is a little less greedy for electrons, but they are sharing, aren't they? This, this is a sharing bond. It's a covalent bond, so you're sharing. But imagine you're sharing with a greedy person. Uh, that person is going to be hogging what you're sharing. And what are you sharing? You're sharing electrons, right? Electrons have a negative charge to them, do they not? Uh, so if you are hogging, like oxygen is hogging those electrons, those electrons have a negative charge, um, the oxygen is going to develop a partial negative charge, and the hydrogen will form a partial positive charge. This is not an S, by the way, that's a lowercase d in Greek letters uh, for delta. Delta plus hydrogen forms a partial positive charge, why? Because those electrons that, are, that it's supposed to be sharing with oxygen, those negatively charged electrons are spending too much time with oxygen, too little time with hydrogen, giving hydrogen a, a slight positive feeling. Okay, so this is what polar means. This is a polar covalent bond. Polar covalent bonds make molecules polar. This is a polar functional group. So if you are a molecule that has this hydroxyl group attached, uh, that hydroxyl group will give you polar properties, such as being able to mix with water. So a molecule that otherwise couldn't mix with water can now suddenly mix with water. So let me give you a good example. You, you ready for this one? So imagine I have this molecule here, CH4. You know what this guy is? CH4 is methane. You know, it's a nonpolar gas, methane. You know, methane gas. Um, and why is this nonpolar? Let me break that down for you. Remember that hydrogen and carbon have almost exactly, not exactly, but almost exactly the same electronegativity. So hydrogen and carbon have the same electronegativity. What that means is if they're sharing electrons, Neither of them is greedier than the other, so they're going to share those electrons evenly. That's the definition of a nonpolar covalent bond. If a molecule has carbons and hydrogens, it's going to form nonpolar covalent bonds. There's no hogging of electrons that happens. That's why there are nonpolar covalent bonds. There's no partial charges anywhere, pos partial positive, partial negative ends. So this is a nonpolar molecule for that reason, because the carbon and hydrogen have the same electronegativity, roughly. Okay, but what happens if I give it the functional group? Hydroxyl, OH. Well, guess what? Your methane, your methane gas just became what's known as methanol. Did you see what happened? Um, it became methanol. That's something I didn't point out. If you have a hydroxyl group, not only is it a polar group that's going to help you mix with water, it makes you an alcohol. Any molecule with a hydroxyl group attached is technically an alcohol. So when I give methane a hydroxyl group, it's now methanol. Uh, it's an alcohol, and alcohols usually end in all. Not always, but usually end in all. So methane became methanol. Why? Because I gave it a hydroxyl group. And guess what? This hydroxyl group, uh, this hydrogen has a partial positive charge, which means water can mix with it. It becomes polar there. Because of this polar functional group, this is now kind of a polar molecule. So it will mix with water. You can dissolve it in water now. Um, 
this is a this is alcohol, not drinking alcohol. This is alcohol. And why will water mix with this? Let me explain that real quick because water, if you remember, has oxygen with two hydrogens. Okay, those hydrogens have a partial positive charge, right? And so actually, let me draw it the other way. This will make more sense. The hydrogens will have a partial positive charge and the oxygen has a partial negative charge. So you see what happens here? It's a hydrogen bond forms between this partially positive hydrogen on methane, or methanol, I should say, and the partially negatively charged oxygen on water. You see that? Opposites attract. Partial positive on this hydroxyl group on methanol is attracted to partial negative on the oxygen of water. Water can now make hydrogen bonds with, mix with. If water can make hydrogen bonds with you, you can get dissolved in water. If it can't, because you don't have any partial charges or any charges uh, to speak of, then you can't dissolve in water. Anyway, you see what happened there? I added the functional group hydroxyl. Suddenly, it became an alcohol, which is a property of the hydroxyl group. It's a polar group, and now you dissolve in water. Okay, here's one more example for you. This one. How, how about two carbons with hydrogens attached? C2H6, right? C2H6, also known as ethane. Ethane gas, right? Ethane, non-polar gas, won't mix with water. But what happens if I give it hydroxyl functional group? Remember hydroxyl is a partially positive here? So it's a polar group. What does that become? You guessed it, ethanol. It's now an alcohol, ethanol. That's drinking alcohol, the, the same alcohol that's in beer and wine and such. That's called drinking alcohol. And uh, it's a product of fermentation. Anyway, now it mixes with water. This, this molecule mixes with water. Again, uh, water can come along with its partially negative oxygen and mix with the partially positive hydrogen on the hydroxyl group. So that's what I had to share with you about hydroxyl groups. Hopefully you learned a lot about the hydroxyl group. Again, it's a polar functional group. Uh, it's OH, right? It, it makes you an alcohol. It helps you to mix with water and it gives the property of polarity to molecules. So it helps you to mix with water. Now, hopefully this was helpful. Please comment, like, subscribe below, and let me know if you have any questions I could clarify for you. Thanks again for watching.